This program was developed to provide information for school counselors on New York State's education opportunity programs and higher education opportunity programs. Education Opportunity Programs, also known as EOP, are available at 48 SUNY campuses. Higher Education Opportunity Programs, also known as HEOP, are available at 50 independent colleges and universities in New York State. These programs provide access, academic support, and financial aid to students who show promise for succeeding in college but who may not otherwise be offered admission. Hello, I'm Chris Shear from the New York State School Counselor Association. Today we will be discussing opportunity programs for students in New York State. I'd like to introduce our guests, Phyllis Breland from Hamilton College and from SUNY System Administration, Cheryl Hamilton. Welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Please tell us a little bit about yourselves and the roles that you play. Sure, and thank you. I'm Cheryl Hamilton, Associate Provost and Director of System-Wide Opportunity Programs in the State University of New York. And in that role, I oversee the Educational Opportunity Program at 48 campuses in SUNY. And I am the Director of Opportunity Programs at Hamilton College. In addition to that, I am also the President of the Higher Education Opportunity Program Professional Organization for New York State. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Tell us, what are some of the advantages for students entering college with opportunity programs? I would describe our opportunity programs as a comprehensive student support system. So we bring in students who by the state standards are considered economically disadvantaged and by the standards of the campuses that they're entering are considered academically underprepared meaning that the students fall a little bit shy of the criteria for admission to those campuses, largely because of socioeconomic factors. So our programs really meet the students where they are, provide the supports that they need to be successful, and as a result of all the supports that our programs provide, our students graduate at the very least at the same level as students who come in as general admits, and in many cases, they actually graduate at a higher rate. And students certainly benefit from coming in through the pre-freshman summer program. We look at the summer programs as an opportunity to really level the playing field. Another benefit is that our students get to be part of an extended family and support network that addresses every need and challenge that they have in completing a successful education. The majority of the students in HEOP are moving so through those institutions at a four-year graduation rate. One of the things that we do and that I'm most proud of in our um, programs is that we develop individualized and tailored academic support programs. Mm -hmm. So what Cheryl might need as a student, her program is designed for her. What I might need is designed for me. So that we enter into a partnership that allows us to meet our students where they are, but then also open the doors for all their possibilities. You know, the sky's the limit in terms of what our students can accomplish because of the services they receive. So what should school counselors know about EOP and HEOP? Well, if you have students that you have been watching them and you see their potential, the desire, their willingness, that's the kind of student that we're looking for. We're looking at more than just high school averages and SAT right. scores. Personal statements are important. Um, right. Many of our campuses actually interview the students. Right. So we want to see drive. We want to see students who are willing to put in the time and energy and effort that's needed to succeed at the college or university level. And we also want the counselors to know that they shouldn't be scared of institutions that are private because there are people waiting there, like myself and others, to receive them and work with these students, again, because of their potential. Where might school counselors find resources or the requirements for your programs? That's a really good question. So for the State University of New York, um, actually on the SUNY website, there is an admissions section, and through admission, um, there is a link to EOP and that provides information about the campuses within SUNY that offer the Educational Opportunity Program, as well as information regarding the profile 
of a typical EOP student? For HEOP schools, they can go to the New York State Ed.gov website. There is a listing of all HEOP schools there. What's important to know is that the admission criteria is so wide and varied that anything can happen. The possibilities are endless. Interviews are important. Connection with the program directors is important. And being able to understand that application process for each mm -hmm. institution. Cheryl, can you talk about some of the guidelines? Sure. So financially, um, students who are admitted to opportunity programs are students whose family income falls within 185% of the federal poverty guidelines. Um, and now with financial aid and with EOP eligibility, we're actually looking at the prior, prior year. So I think it's incredibly important for school counselors as they're working with their students, if they can work with the students and their parents in gathering the documents that they may need to actually mm -hmm. demonstrate that they do meet the income criteria. Now, in addition to that, we're also able to look at extenuating circumstances. Counselors should know that as well. If someone or a family is experiencing financial hardship, we can work with that. We just want you to be prepared to document that. Uh, if there is foster care in the system, and I forgot to uh, mention that one, but we're going to work with that too. So anything that you're aware of, bring it all mm -hmm. so that we can make the best possible decision for that student and provide the best direction. What information should students know? Um, most important, students should know the types of services that they would receive as EOP students. Mm -hmm. That the expectation of them would be the same as the expectation of any student at a college or university. Um, we just require that they take advantage of the services that are available to them. Um, they should know that coming in to any of our institutions through an opportunity program provides a strong ecosystem of support, a family away from home, um, and also that we hold them accountable. Once they come in as students, um, we, we expect them to be proactive in seeking their own education. And we want them to dream big. We want them to feel good about pursuing avenues that may be different and encountering challenges that may broaden their scope and help them realize more of their own potential so that when they are looking at colleges, look at them all. Mm -hmm. Don't just think that you have to stay um, right in the city if that's where you're living. There are plenty of other programs, 55 other ones, that are more than willing and ready and prepared to support these students. And one thing, we are also bound to keep their education affordable. So for private institutions such as ours, the maximum loan indebtedness for four years or 10 semesters, whichever one they are using, is $25,000. So what advice would you give to parents to get their child ready to apply for some of your programs? Um, I would certainly encourage them to take a look at the various offerings at our colleges throughout New York State, get a sense of which, which colleges actually offer their intended majors and academic interests right. um, mm -hmm. and also to apply early. Most important that the students get their applications in as early as possible. The FAFSA is now available October 1st. In order for students to be considered for EOP, they have to get their FAFSAs done. Um, so it's important that the parents work with them in getting those FAFSAs completed um, and also students should be aware of the family income information. When they go on to complete the SUNY application, they will be asked if they want to be considered for EOP admission, they'll be asked about family income, and it's important for them to be aware of where their family falls within the income guidelines. I would also encourage the parents to reach out to the directors of the programs at the schools to make those connections. Um, there are checklists and all kinds of supports that we'll give to the parents as well. The whole idea is this is a journey that we're all going to take together. So we, the sooner we can establish those connections, the better off your student is going to be, the more informed that decision will be, and the more you'll know as a parent. And trust will be important. So when we're working together, um, we're an extended family. We want to talk to you. 
we want to be there to support you as well. This was informative and very important information for our school counselors, as well as our parents and students. Thank you for sharing your expertise with us today. Oh, you're quite welcome. Thank you. Thank you. School counselors need to be familiar with the information on the EOP and HEOP websites. It's important to inform students and parents about EOP and HEOP and to assist eligible students with researching campuses that have these services. Be sure to assist families with their FAFSA completion and help them connect with program directors. For more information, visit the EOP and HEOP websites.